Hello and welcome from a crucial tip on the lost Chandrayaan 1 to the news of a novel earthen refrigerator. Bringing you the latest in science and technology, I Aishwarya welcome you all to the fresh new episode of Science Monitor. Well, in this episode, we will also discuss about the soaring achievements of Indian science. But first, let us take a look at the headlines. NASA detects Chandrayaan 1 believed to be lost forever. Mumbai pollution levels on the hike post winter indicates new data. Innovative earthen refrigerator works without electricity. And in our In Focus segment, we will discuss about the achievements of India in science and technology. 22nd of October 2008. The day ISRO launched Chandrayaan 1 to gather information on Moon. But on 29th of August 2009, all contacts with the Chandrayaan 1 were lost. But today, after eight years of being believed to be lost, Chandrayaan has been found. Yes, in an astonishing turn of events, NASA's radars have detected Chandrayaan 1. And according to experts, Chandrayaan 1 is still orbiting the Moon. Chandrayaan-1, the first Indian lunar probe that played a major role in our understanding of the Moon and the lunar environment. Following a year of successful data collection and fulfilling 95% of its mission objectives, Chandrayaan-1 ceased operations in 2009 and the mission was declared over. But thanks to NASA's newly developed radar technique, the spacecraft, once believed to have been lost forever, has been rediscovered. Chandrayaan-1 has been spotted using the novel technique developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which uses interplanetary radar. Along with Chandrayaan, the technique has also been able to spot NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. The new technique employed the use of the 230-foot antenna at NASA's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex in California and the 330-foot Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia. During the experiment, the research team directed the Goldstone antenna to transmit a powerful beam of microwaves towards the moon and used the Green Bank Telescope to receive the radar echoes that returned back to Earth. Based on the radar signatures, researchers have pinpointed the positions of LRO and the Chandrayaan. What is more, Researchers using the radar data have also calculated the spacecraft's distance and velocity in order to improve future predictions for its orbit. However, researchers have reported that Chandrayaan-1's orbit had retained the shape and alignment that they had expected. This novel technique of detecting the locations of one active and one dormant spacecraft could assist planners for future moon missions. Post Diwali, pollution levels in Delhi rose to the extent that even breathing became difficult and people were warned against venturing out. But looks like Delhi is not the only city affected. Well, according to a new study by the System of Air Quality, Weather Forecasting and Research, the air quality index of Mumbai is worse than Delhi post-winters. Well, the study was conducted between February and 13th of March. The recent declaration by the UN of Delhi being one of the most polluted cities of the world, ignited much debate. But looks like pollution levels in India is on the hike, as a recent study shows that Delhi has been left behind by another metro city of the country, Mumbai. Yes, 
while it was expected that following the winter fogs, Delhi would have a poor air quality index. According to the study conducted by the System of Air Quality, Weather Forecasting and Research SAFAR, Safar, between February and 15th March this year, Mumbai post-winter is poorer in air quality than Delhi. Safar data revealed that the air quality index in Mumbai was 312, while Delhi recorded an overall air quality index of 105 indicating that Mumbai's air quality was almost three times worse than Delhi's. Experts also say that while Mumbai had 20% very poor air days, Delhi and Pune had none. What's worse, while Delhi and Pune had 40% and 47% satisfactory air quality days, Mumbai only had 13%. With a population well over 20 million, the increased rate of air pollution in Mumbai has been received as a matter of great concern. The microscopic pollutants are known to easily enter human lungs and skin and cause health ailments, including respiratory disorders and various kinds of allergies. While pollution seems to be on the rise in Mumbai, According to experts, Delhi has seen considerably cleaner air in the last months which they suggest could be because of the cleansing caused by the recent rains and strong breeze. Today most of us have the luxury of fridges, but what use is of a fridge if there is no electricity? But worry not, for now there is an earthen refrigerator which will provide cold water even in the absence of electricity. Refrigerator, more popular as fridge, is today a common and rather unavoidable household item. From keeping fruits and vegetables fresh to ice cold water to quench thirst, our dependence on refrigerator just increases as summers peak. But a large population in the remote areas are still devoid of the necessity. Reason, lack of access to power grids and cost of electricity. Under these circumstances comes the Desi version of a fridge, a brainchild of an innovator from Sura. Mr. Mansukh Bhai Prajapati, the Desi earthen refrigerator is both safe and economic. The refrigerator made of mud not only cools water but also keeps vegetables and fruits fresh. And most importantly, this refrigerator doesn't depend on electricity. पानी की वजह से उसकी दीवाल ठंडी होती है, दीवाल की वजह से अंदर का सब्जियां और फ्रूट फेस रहते हैं। एक-एक पार्ट बनाते हैं हम। जैसे एक एक दीवाल है, दूसरी दीवाल है, उसी तरह दूसरी सब दीवाल एक ठा कर कर के हम हैंडी का हैंड वर्क से पूरा बनाते हैं। एक फ्रिज को सुखाने में कम से कम पांच से सात दिन तक उसको हवा नहीं लगनी चाहिए। हवा लग जाते हैं, तो इसकी जो पोरोसिटी होती है, छिद्र होता है, वो बंद हो जाते हैं, � तो इसको धीरे-धीरे सुखाना पड़ता है और आठ दिन में एक ही फ्रिज बनता है। The refrigerator is based on the principle of simple evaporation and has a provision on top of it for the collection of five liters of water. The water from the top percolates into the mud walls and evaporates, absorbing heat from the interior of the refrigerator. The fridge comes with two chambers which can keep fruits, vegetables and food items fresh for three to four days while retaining its taste. The earthen refrigerator works best when placed in an open space and unlike earthen pots, there is no need to change this refrigerator time and again. Besides this innovative refrigerator, Mr. Mansukh Bhai has also developed earthen water filter water bottle, dinner set, pan, etc., which are much popular in the market.
And now it is time to take a very short break. We'll be right back with more science news. Keep watching Science Monitor. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Science Monitor. Let us now have a look at some important science and technology activities happening in India and abroad in our next segment, Science Express. While India is known to have harbored one of the oldest known civilizations, a recent find suggested that it might have also hosted some of the oldest known plants. Yes, researchers have designated the fossils unearthed from Chitrakoot in central India as that of red algae, the earliest known plants. According to researchers, the thread-like fossils which was found buried in phosphate-rich sedimentary rocks are 1.6 billion years old and resemble red algae, a primitive kind of aquatic plant. The fossils also contained cellular features for photosynthesis, says the report. In a fascinating discovery, scientists have discovered the world's first glow-in-the-dark frog. The frog which was discovered from Santa Fe, Argentina has been named South American polka dot tree frog or Hepsiboas punctatus. The frog has shades of green, yellow and red in under normal light but gives off a bright blue and green glow in the dark. According to the study, three molecules, hyaloin L1, hyaloin L2 and hyaloin G1 in the frog's lymph tissue, skin and glandular secretions is responsible for the green fluorescence. Hoping to shed new light on lives of primitive humans, archaeologists in Mexico have stepped up work on the remains of a 14,000-year-old mammoth. Y bueno, este hallazgo de Tultepec es importante porque corrobora en forma indirecta, pero esa presencia humana hace 14,000 años. Eh, en el caso del mamut de Tultepec eh, y, y siguiendo el registro estratigráfico se pudieron identificar varias capas naturales eh, que han sido fechadas en diferentes excavaciones. The mammoth has been discovered from Tultepec and was found to have been cut into pieces by hunters and gatherers around 14,000 years back. The fossils are on display at Tultepec Municipal Building where public can see the restoration work involved in preserving the fossils. According to the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, liquid lava has been flowing at the Kiloyu Volcano, which has erupted from its Uuo vent on Hawaii's Big Island. Experts said that the molten lava measuring over 900 degrees Celsius has been entering the ocean and feeding surface flows. In the drive for cleanliness, Surat has set a world record. 2014 people from Surat on 15th March wielded brooms in a cleanliness campaign setting the world record for most number of people sweeping the streets with brooms. 7 November 2015 को मेक्सिको के अंदर इस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड को प्रस्तावित किया गया था वहां पर करीब 1000 लोगों ने इस विक्रम को बनाया था जिसको सूरत के नागरिकों ने इकट्ठा होकर 2104 2104 पार्टिसिपेंट्स ने इकट्ठा होकर इस विक्रम विश्व विक्रम को तोड़ने को और नया विश्व विक्रम कीर्तिमान स्थापित करने के लिए प्रयत्न किया गया है जो सक्सेसफुली अटेम्प्ट हुआ है द इवेंट वाज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय लोकल नॉन गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यूथ फॉर गुजरात द पार्टिसिपेंट्स आल्सो टुक एन ओथ टू नॉट लिटर एंड टू स्पेंड 100 आवर्स क्लीनिंग द सिटी विद इन अ ईयर In an astonishing feat, a robot actor has caught attention of the audience with its performance. Yes, in a one-of-a-kind experiment, the play Spillikin, which stars Judy Norman, also starts a robo-thespian, a humanoid robot. For the play, we have pre-programmed every single thing the robot says and every single thing the robot does, all the moves. Uh, there's about nearly 400 separate cues, but they're made up of other files all stuck together. So there's probably a couple of thousand cues in reality. 
And so the robot will always say the same thing and move in the same way depending on what cue is being triggered at what particular time, which puts a big pressure on the actor acting with the robot to always have the right lines, always stand in the right place so that the robot is looking in the right direction at that particular moment. So it's a really tough call for the actor. The robot, which plays a central character in the play, is connected to the theatre's control room, where a laptop triggers cues for its performance. The play brings the story about a robot maker who builds a robot to keep his wife company after he dies. And as her dementia develops, it becomes increasingly difficult for her to distinguish the machine from the man. In the rapidly evolving world, science and technology hold the key. In the last several decades, India has taken up the daunting task of developing self-reliance in technology and what has transpired has been hailed as incredible. From agriculture to energy, India is today a world leader in science. And capping the achievements with the recent uh, successful launching of 104 satellites in one go. Well, today in our In Focus segment, we will show you the glimpses of some of the greatest achievements of Indian science. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. 15 February 2017, Indian Space Research Organization, the leading face of Indian science, attempted a feat unprecedented by any of the space agencies across the world. ISRO successfully launched 104 satellites in one go. Certainly, this was not the first time that ISRO has taken the world by storm. Indian researchers have done it before, with Mangalayan, with the launch of eight satellites into two different orbits in a single flight, indigenous cramjet engine and many others. In a short span of 70 years, India has managed to transform itself from a technology-deprived nation in an economic wreck into a world leader in science and technology. Thanks to the persistence and fortitude of our scientists and scientific leaders. India today has over 21 nuclear reactors in operation in seven nuclear power plants, producing a total of 30,292.91 gigawatt hours of electricity to address the demands of the growing population. We are also bringing innovative techniques in the direction of renewable and sustainable fuel resources. Turning our eyes from the land to the skies, India excels in astronomical observations too, thanks to the different kinds of telescopes present in different parts of the country. Telescopes at Handley, Uti, Narayangao and Devsthal are constantly being used by Indian researchers to solve the mystery of the universe. Today, while we are partaking in the 30-meter telescope, we have progressed from the terrestrial telescopes to the much-acclaimed space observatory, AstroSat. Lay your eyes on the sea and we have Sindhu Sadhana, our own research vessel equipped with the most modern equipments of oceanography. Sindhu Sadhana has been mapping our marine resource wealth and extending our understanding of the oceans, the cradle of life. We as a nation today are a biotech hub, an IT hub, a generic pharma hub, a space hub and much more. And we have done all this by making the optimum use of our resources. We inspire others for sustainable growth. Internationally, we are a part of some of the largest collaborative experiments in the world. Be it discovering novel particles at CERN as an associate member or developing the novel techniques which aided the quest for gravitational waves, Indian scientists and researchers are an integral part of the biggest scientific endeavors in the world, like Large Hadron Collider, LIGO Observatory, 
and 30 meter telescope. So steadily but surely, India has become a country impossible to ignore when one talks about science and technology. Well, that is all for today. We'll be back with fresh new stories on science and technology again next week. Till then, keep watching Rajasabha TV. Thanks for watching.